am picking up on a promise I made almost 10 years ago. Got a request recently for a lesson on who knows where the time goes. Sandy Denny, Fairport Convention, the Straubs, kind of goes back, Judy Collins, uh, Nina Simone, Eva Cassidy, done by a lot of people. And in the early, in the pre-target days here at TG, I put up a very short lesson on it. Just talked about the chords and some unusual things. But I have, it's, it's time for like a little more formal one on it because the song is, aside from getting a request recently, it has been haunting me recently too. Because it's, so it's just kind of an odd um, confluence of events that made me think it's time to, time to resurrect this song. And uh, in the, so I went back and watched the thing I, I shot, I did a long time ago. Some of it was out uh, at various sites, YouTube and Daily Motion and places like that. And then the second half of it was at TG. And it, it was about an eight minute lesson. This may only be a 15 minute lesson, but because it's fairly simple, but I, there are a few things I really want to elaborate on it. The first thing is, really want you to listen to the version from Unhalf Bricking, the Fairport album, Fairport Convention album from 1969. They, they blasted out like three albums in about a 12 month span right then. Legion Leaf, another fabulous one. Uh, Maddie Groves, Tam Lynn, I think those were all on Legion Leaf. Anyway, uh, Sandy Denny had joined the band for the previous album and they kind of were really getting their momentum moving when unfortunately a car crash claimed a couple of them and uh, they thought about just giving it all up. But now this song of Sandy's was something she wrote long before Fairport and she did a demo of it in 1967 that has surfaced in a few spots too. Uh, she did it a few years later with the Straubs although that wasn't released until later as well and by the time she joined Fairport and they brought this out now she had some um, very smooth musicians with her. Not that the Straubs weren't, but, but this version just seemed to have the right feel. Nice little electric guitar leads, uh, great simple acoustic guitar strumming, and many of the other versions that I've listened to uh, have, have the guitar doing different things. So a lot of people have, have changed the progression, changed the rhythmic structure, and so we're only dealing with the original here. We're not going to look at what anybody else did with it because there's too many options there. Anyway, uh, what I really just want to talk about here is a very simple strumming pattern and the chords, and uh, that's going to be about it. But we're going to go a little bit into the theory of chords. You can start working on this a little bit. The chords are mostly in the key of E, but then there are these, these chords that include droning open strings, pedal point strings, where we've got the E and the B and the high E all ringing over many of the chords and so that keeps the bass kind of constant in some of them. So we'll talk about that, we'll talk about the strumming and that will be about it and hopefully someday I will be able to track down a great singer who could perform this with me. I am not going to try to sing this for you. I don't think. Across the evening sky All the birds are I might go work on that a bit. The first thing I want to talk about is a simple strumming pattern. Now the song is in 4-4 time, but it really has this cut time feel where uh, two measures of two half notes each, one, two, one, two. So we really feel pretty much four beats per chord but they're, the beats are going so slow that I would think of it as two measures of cut time, two, two. But that means we're doing double time strumming with the right hand. Let's just make it sound like this. Got it? Down, down, up for the first beat, for the first real half note beat. Same thing for the second real half note beat. This is pretty much what we hear on the, the Fairport recording. The acoustic guitar just kind of strumming that. And then for the second, for the second half of the measure, just two downs to break it up a little bit. And then for the last beat, all four strokes. Okay, down, down. 